last class, we took a tour of the world of rasterization. This session helps you learn how to sample texture maps. First of all, let's see why do we need texture sampling? Let's take an example of a high quality 3D face like the one shown on the right side. A typical high quality 3D face requires anywhere between 40,000 to 60,000 vertices. If we were to take each vertex separately, it requires an RGB color value per vertex amounting to around 40,000 to 60,000 RGB color values. That takes a lot of space in the memory to store the values. Instead, let's consider a texture map. Think of texture map as a blanket wrapped over the 3D object. For example, consider the tabletop shown below. We can wrap it with a texture map of plywood texture as shown here. Typically, texture maps are stored as a single image or multiple images. Here, the plywood texture image is shown on the right and has a width of 400 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. The texture coordinates in the axis along the width or the x-axis are typically called u-coordinates and the ones along the height or y-axis are called v-coordinates. UV-coordinates are scaled from 0 to 1. Now consider the top facing part of the 3 table top object. The rectangular tabletop can be split into two triangles and the x, y, c coordinates of the vertices of the triangle are as shown below. Now, the vertices of the top right triangle are mapped to UV coordinates in the plywood texture image. For example, the top right corner vertex with XYZ coordinates 210 are mapped to a pixel location with UV coordinates 0.8 and 0.9 in the texture image and the corresponding RGB value of that pixel is mapped as the color of that vertex. Similarly, other vertices of the triangle can be mapped to different UV coordinates in the texture image as shown here. In the next class, we will take you through a journey on shaders.